If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please remember to hit that like button and of course subscribe for more content. And if you need any coins for Ultimate Team to get a head start on the game, head to the link in the description. Use the code TVM for a discount at checkout. What is going on guys, Tavium here. Welcome back to another day of six o'clock content. It is Rule Breakers Day. What are Rule Breakers? I, I don't really know. I mean, I get it but I don't understand why they called it Rule Breakers. It kind of means to me, or it kind of gave me the impression that we were going to get players who are quite rough, you know, you know, get a lot of yellow cards, a lot of red cards, and like to leave a lot on their opponent, that sort of thing. I kind of thought like Casemiro, Richardson type cards. However, we've been given uh, a different type of player uh, or a different type of team. Well, I'll make the image uh, a bit bigger for you so you can kind of, you know, C. That would be really handy, wouldn't it? So there we go. I mean, Kane is the highest rated, 91. For this stage of the game, that is quite a high rated card. You'll notice down here it's, it says Team 1 as well. We are going to get Team 2 next week. Does this replace Halloween? Yes and no, and we'll get to that in a second. So uh, if we just have a little read through it first. I'm not going to read it word for word, but basically uh, there will be two teams, and the first of which drops today, 23rd of October. Uh, and if we scroll down to the remaining bit of information, uh, you can get some players through objectives, some players through squad building challenges. We'll have a look at those in a second. I don't know what they are just yet. And then finally, it says Halloween and Day of the Dead also return to foot with squad building challenges and objectives featuring themed kits, stadium items and pack rewards beginning Thursday, 29th of October. So it doesn't look like we're going to get any players it might be that we get stadium like tifos and things and kits obviously because they've already said that well i mean it, it said kits stadium items and pack rewards don't really know what the pack rewards are i mean i'm guessing it's just objectives for packs maybe I, i'm not sure either way this is the team so a lot of people were speculating as to what the team could be i'm i'm half happy half not happy and and the reason why i'm happy is because um, Andre, outside of team of the season, Andre, Dumfries to a certain extent, Kamara, Lazzari, Marcus Lorente, Ocampos, and then maybe Laporte and Kane. More Kane than Laporte, because I think Laporte had a special card uh, for, for no reason whatsoever last year. Those are players that you don't often see get given special items. There was a leaked team for this and nearly every single player was just boring because it was the same player over and over and over again Laporte good pace um good good defensive stats and physical with chem style could boost that right up that's going to be a high-end center back Harry Kane now has pace and he's one of the best finishers in the game I'm not sure if it's changed anything with regards to weak foot skill move I'm guessing not I don't want to look at Footpin just yet because I don't want it to ruin what objectives and, and squad builder challenges they've got in here. But um, I don't mind it. I mean, am I really excited by any of those players? Um, I don't know if any of them go into my team. Harry Kane, maybe. And it's typical that the one that I want is the most expensive. But that is Team 1. Team 2, of course, is going to come next week and we'll have to see what's in that. But for right now, let's go over to the game where we can have a look at the objectives. So we'll do that first rather than having to look at the squad building challenges. Mukiele, hello. Um, can't look at the can't look at the card because EA. So he's got he's a right back, 89 pace, good physical, good dribbling. Uh, gives a little soft link to Delaney as well. That's not bad at all. Get 300 XP for completing it. Bunch of XP as well. Now this will be interesting. Do we get to? play this in friendlies like the live foot friendly like you did with the silver card yesterday or are they going to make us play rivals even though most of us have champs to play and we've probably already finished our rivals games or it's going to cost us rival points trying to get objectives done this is a big test for ea and it will kind of set it up for going forward Oh, it could have been squad battles as well. But no, it, okay, live foot friendly. I wonder if they're all going to be like that. Assist four goals with crosses using Bundesliga players in live foot friendlies. Assist five goals using French defenders in live foot friendlies. I'm liking this. Uh, scoring six separate matches using French players in the live foot friendly. Right, okay. Foot friendly, score 12 goals using Bundesliga players. 
wins six matches life up friendly. I am a massive fan of that for several reasons. One of which is that I don't have to go into and risk losing games and points and whatever trying to go after this objective to get this card. This card is a good card. It'll be really fun to use in game. He's going to be a little bit overpowered for at least a couple of weeks. And I can do it in friendlies. And there's a specific mode where everyone is in that mode to get this card. So you may, may even find some people help you out to try and get it, which will be nice. Um, we have week three bronze, which is, I mean, isn't that a little bit more XP than normal? Maybe? Either way, that's going to help us progress through the milestones. And there we are. So... We haven't had any anything else. I'm guessing there's no new... Oh, hello. Stadium Development 2 is now unlocked. Finally. It's taking you long enough. I'm guessing Stadium 3 is still... Well, we'll probably have to wait till next Friday, maybe even further along. I don't understand why they can't just give us this right from the get-go. If you've completed everything, you should be able to just go and do it all. Do we get any packs for this? Background TIFO pack? TIFO pack? Um... You could put more... Uh, oh, hello. Gold net paint. Finally, that's been added. There there are lawnmower packs. You have different designs on your pitch. I like it. I'm, again, I think it's st stuff that should have been in there from the, from the very beginning. I'm guessing then development three is where we get the um, the lines on the on the floor. Yeah, the, the pitch markings. Because obviously they got the net paint, but the pitch markings are going to be different. So... I'm not going to read through it. It's essentially just play the game and you'll get it eventually. Uh, there is something over here in team. So brand new set, is it? Or is it just been claim reward? I only did half of it. I got a gold pack, apparently. I'll take it. Uh, what's this then? So we've got another one. Stake your claim in the battle of European powerhouses. Complete at least one team event objective to be eligible for rewards. Is that in objectives? Because I did this last week where I didn't look at it. And they then gave it to me. I'm confused. I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe I've got to pick something. Or maybe I was in the right place. Season teams. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. EA make their game more complicated every every year. I don't know. Uh, squad builder challenges then. Let's have a little look. Oh, a Naki Williams. Okay, that's original. Player pick. Hey, I like that. Earn these rewards by completing this group site. So I'm guessing not repeatable, right? No, it's there for seven days. So you choose one or the other. So you choose... They both got the same pace. And I'm guessing they'll both have the same passing. And they'll both have the same physical and defending. But one of them has better shooting. And the other one has better dribbling. So you'd have to go in and have a look at the in-game stats to see what the original dribbling and the original shooting of the players are to understand what the trade-off is exactly. But yeah, so you can go for the one on the left, which is going to have 89 agility, 80 balance, 90 reactions, 88 ball control, 93 dribbling and composure, which is really good. Or you can choose the naturally high finisher. So 89 finishing, 93 positioning, 96 shot power, uh, good long shots, decent volleys. I'd be more inclined to go for the dribbler, to be honest. And then I would probably pick the Hunter Chem style to boost up the finishing. That's my opinion, because he would feel better on the ball. And then you could always help his shooting along a little bit. That's my personal stance on it. He doesn't actually fit my team, though, in the slightest. 84. And then, do you know what? I'm really annoyed by that. And why am I annoyed? Because I had untradeable cards. And I threw it into Axel Witzel because I had nothing else to throw it into. And they took ages. I had to get rid of them because I could open, couldn't open, could open packs. And now they've given me something that I probably would have completed. I can't fit him into the team. But as a super sub, that would have been pretty damn sexy. That's not a bad price at all, to be fair. You get a premium Electron place pack and a Jumbo premium gold pack. And it's tradable. I would have been alright with that. We don't have... Um, I, I wasn't expecting it till November anyway. But we don't have icons or swaps or anything like that. No league SBCs yet either, which is, again, it's fine by me. I'm not, like, desperate for them or anything. We haven't been given any sort of pack to, you know, encourage us to open them or to try and give us a chance at getting one. Uh, fortunately, I do have packs. Now, unfortunately, I don't get to open them now because they are for the road to glory. 
I have a bunch of packs. If you want to see me open these, Road to Glory tomorrow, I will open them all. And hopefully we'll pack Kane, Laporte, Douglas Costa, Mertens, and maybe Nine Golan as well. Probably not. Packs for today are 45k packs, 8 available if you're interested. I'm not. And 25k packs. Why put the 25ks in promos, but then put the 45k packs in the prime gold, in the gold section? Don't know. Either way, that's your content for today. I... Oh. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've not... Item releases. Ah, oh, hey, look at that. You can actually look at the teams for once. Bit mad, isn't it? It's a bit messed up, like, but it's there. There we go. The more you know. I've never clicked this section, so I'm a bit surprised. But there we go. That's the team. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments. If you could pack one untradeable, who would it be? Because you're not necessarily going to go for the highest rated now. Maybe someone there fits your team. The little stat swap may help you out a little bit. Uh, I think it's a stat swap. I'm guessing it is, right? I don't know. what What is Kane's normal card? Harry Kane. Give him a little refresh here because I was looking at it anyway because I he was kind of leaked, right? So he's been given 23 pace, but he has four less shooting. And he has five more passing, three more physical, two more defending, and four more dribbling. He's currently not on the market, but that's no surprise to anyone. Oh, no, he is on the market. He's, he's about a million coins right now, which is mad. I, I do like it because it's not the same old, same old players, but at the same time... Maybe they could have gone with a completely different route. I don't know. What do you think of the whole rule breakers? Are you excited to open some packs to do the objective? I think that Mukiele card could be quite good. And the fact that it's in friendlies makes me a little bit happy. Uh, let me know. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.